Hey guys, we're on the next video, and uh, uh, I've had some people ask me would I do the my uh, uh, hillbilly hiker, and I said yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and do one. And uh, here is the rough out, and uh, I, I, I've kind of drawn on there uh, where I need to map it out. Uh, but uh, I, I'm going to set this down for a minute, and I'm going to show you. Uh, this is the uh, the hillbilly hiker I've got here. Now he has an upturned mustache. What I'm going to do is turn the mustache down on on this one we're going to carve, and he'll be uh, uh, just a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to I'll change the color combination on it. Uh, may, maybe do the arms a little thinner, uh, but it, it won't be exactly like this one. Uh, but anyway, uh, I do, uh, speaking to the hillbillies, I, I did, I'm going to set this one back up on my, my bench here, and I'm going to show you the finished hillbilly that we did on the last YouTube. All right, can you get that in there, Peyton? Yep. Well, I put the stem on the pipe. I gave him a rifle that I carved separate. Or you could put anything in there. You could put an axe, or if he's a farmer, you could put a, a uh, pitchfork or a shovel or anything and I just put it on a little plain round base um, but uh, that's the product uh, of the hillbilly we did on the last uh, YouTube uh, get a close-up on the face there Peyton can you yeah but anyway I'm gonna set this one back up I, I did want you to see this one and we're going to get started in on the on the hillbilly uh, hiker, and we're going to just going to start roughing it in. I'm going to set this right up here. So I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to take a, a, a soft V, and I'm going to run in here where I drew this line and undercut this uh, hat brim. Coming around the top of the ear and back on the side, on the back side of the hair. And then I'm going to come across here and I'm going to tuck that nose down in there just a little bit. But first I've got to get, I want to get this in, this undercut right here. And this is just uh, just a little, like I said, a little soft V tool I'm using. Uh, and what we're going to do on this guy tonight is just kind of map in all these lines. And I'll do a little work on the hat. Uh, let's go in and uh, with a, a bigger... V and I'm going to cut in uh, where that beard will be. And you just kind of work it where your lines are at. Right in there is where I made the cut. Can you see that? Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's come in here and go this way. And this guy, he'll probably be a five part video. And I'll, I'll, I'll usually, I'll do it just like I do the others. I'll go off camera and I'll, I'll do a little bit of cleaning up on him. Uh, Let's see here. Let's mark underneath the hat here and back here. I'm putting in where the neck is, and uh, let's take a let's take this number nine gouge, three eighths, and kind of round that a little bit in there.
I wanted to get this in uh, this week before I head out. I'm headed out to Sandwich, Illinois uh, to do the gathering of wood carvers. Uh, I'm leaving out Wednesday. Right, there's the neck, and let's put right back here where that collar will be kind of rounded. Okay, let's go up here and clean up that hat. And there's where I take this big number 11 gouge. And I come in and I start scooping out around the crown of the hat and the brim of the hat. You got that in the focus there or in the picture of Peyton? Yep. All right. Right in there is where I'm working. I'm going to come around, turn it around, go this way with it. We want to kind of scoop that out, cup that up in there, right in there. But, like I said, I'll go off, when I'm off camera, I'll go back in and clean it up and get it where it needs to be. Because really, we're just actually just taking the, the old rough out, uh, the uh, where it was on the duplicator, duplicator marks out. And putting a little shape in it as we go, especially with this uh, with this uh, big gouge here, I can st start shaping a little bit. All right, that's. That's kind of where we're at right now. Let me get a little shadow in there. Now, while, let's right go in here. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take a a, a V tool, uh, a true V, and go up under and. Well, no, actually, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start undercutting this nose a little bit and making it stand out a little bit more. See there, and I'll turn it. And you work over it right here to where I got the sideburn drawn on there. But I want to make that nose starting to stand out, a profile look on that right in here. All right, let's do a little bit more work right there. Right in here, you have to be careful when you're coming up uh, underneath the brim of this hat. You don't want to snap it off because it, it's a little brittle. It, it's it's cross-grain, and it could snap. Now, while I'm at it, I've got the profile pretty much in. I want to go in with a knife and smooth up the uh, brim of this hat a little bit. It's, Little rough. And I know we're doing another hillbilly, but I just had somebody that wanted to, me to do this, and I said I'd do it. It leaves me with a project and um, I'll have this one at uh, Illinois, and then I'm also in the uh, middle of October. I'm going to be back at the Renegade Woodcarver's Roundup in Lebanon, Tennessee, 
and I'll have this guy there also. Let me kind of smooth that up. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right there, and I'm gonna go in and start cutting away at this hand to make it kind of stick out a little bit more. I'm gonna come in. Can you see that right in there, Peyton? Done. I'll turn around now. <clears throat> You got to make that arm stick out. Let me turn it this way here. How much time are we looking at right there? Got about nine minutes. Okay, and that will give us 20. 20, okay. But you really got to start putting that, tucking that stomach back out and making that arm stand out and right in here bring that chest back a little bit more and you could probably do this with a knife but I like using this little this is a number three uh, gouge uh, it's a pretty wide gouge All right, well, see, I've gotten this hand uh, starting to separate from the chest and the, and the stomach area. Because it, it uh, when you get it down, you want to see some sleeve and his hand in this guy, in this carving. So you have to bring that back pretty good ways. Now, while we're at it, we're going to come in here and take a a number nine gouge and I'm going to start scooping away underneath this arm and at the top of this little bag right there like that right in there where I'm working okay Turn it around, go this way. And I just really want to develop the bottom part of this arm right in here. And I've pretty much got that where it need to be. And we can go in with a, a soft V right in here and, and Making it a little more defined in there. Now you can see that a little bit more in there. Now let's go in here and, and make some uh, uh, cuts on, um, on the back of his arm. And like I said, when I get off camera, I'll, I'll go and uh, I'll refine this a little bit more and get him where it needs to be. And I'll tell you what I do. <clears throat> All right, that's what I just did there. And I'll come in here, right in here, and work this arm. Right in there. And see, I'll, I'll take off all this old rough area here and smooth him up for the next go around. <clears throat> Let me get up under here now with this big old soft V and kind of work at that bottom of that arm. Okay. Now, let's. I'm going to separate down here a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> I'll take this quarter inch gouge here and start gouging away in between the legs let's turn it around right this way so we can see and you want to kind of keep working toward the center because his legs, you don't want to take off too much because he's got a 
pretty uh, pretty thin legs on this so I'm going to come in here from the back side and I can even take a uh, a soft V and come in now right in here and use the sides of the V to kind of chisel off that part of the leg and turn it around now let's uh let's go down here right in here and let's kind of start separating this right in here See there where I'm at, Pete? All right. But you want to kind of round these. Uh, let's get right here where we can see. Start rounding these feet up a little bit. I may go over just a little bit, Peyton, on this. to see what I'm doing. <laughs> now let's take a little bit out right in there with a knife. And start bringing that heel up. Just got to keep working at it, and he'll come. We'll finally get there. And a little tip I, I've done mine already, but uh, I, I always you want to anytime you start a new project, you want to strop your tools and get you a good keen edge on your on your tools. Uh, so uh, you can start digging in on them and uh, get it going. And you just, you know, put it on a leather strop. All right, that's where I wanted that right there. Now let's, uh, I'm going to go in front. Where are we at on time, Peyton? Got about two minutes. Two minutes? Okay. Yep. I'm going to come in and... Start uh, making some cuts right in here. I've gotten pretty much where, where all my lines are going to be. Uh, I can take out a little bit more right in here. Right down between his leg and his pouch. Right in here. Let's see. Now I do want to do one more thing, Peyton, before we... I'm going to kind of take this big gouge here and I'm going to run it and kind of shape this arm up just a little bit. And the chest. You can do this with a, like a number nine, but I, I like using this big, big tool here. Mm, you got to start rounding that stomach area or, or shaping it. I would like to show you all um, another carving I did from this, it's a Civil War soldier, and I did it several years ago. Um, let me go over here and kind of work this arm a little bit, and then 
We may go over just a little bit, Peyton, okay? All right. I want to get that in there. Okay, I'm going to put this down. And what I've done, I just really kind of outlined my lines and shaped it up a little bit more. Off camera, I'm going to go in, clean it up, and get all these tool marks off. And, and, and put a little bit more shape to the body. It, it's basically there, uh, but I do want to reach around here and show you uh, a Civil War soldier I did out of the same rough out. Uh, there's the Civil War soldier. I just shortened the top of the hat, and but it's out of the same rough out. Um, And it was a fun piece, and uh, uh, I just I didn't I didn't paint this one. I liked the natural finish of it, so I'm gonna set this back up over here, and uh, and I'm gonna bring out uh, <clears throat> the old hillbilly carver, I mean hiker, and uh, like I said, I'll go in and I'll clean this up in here, take out the marks and smooth it up a little bit. Uh, on the next one, we'll we'll put in more facial structure, and and, and more structure in the the hands, and the legs. Uh, but all right, guys. Uh, till uh, the next video, uh, we'll see you later. And happy carving to everyone, and we'll see you on the next YouTube. Bye.